Okay, so we're talking about nylon. Nylon is actually made from two different chemicals. One of them is called hexamethylene diamine. Boy, that's a big word. Hexamethylene diamine. It means that you've got hexamethyl, six methyl groups, and then you've got two amine groups on the end. These are these NH groups that you saw in the chemical formula for nylon. So what I'm going to do is I'm taking a little of the hexamethylene diamine and I've dissolved it in water, all right? So now I'm going to pour that into a beaker. When I do that, all right, there it is, just looks like a clear liquid solution water. And now, the second chemical that you use when you make nylon is some sort of, in this case I'm using sabacyl chloride. It's basically 10 carbons all chained together, but then I have a, a C double bond O, carboxyl group, and a chlorine. So what's going to happen is, is that when I pour this in, all right, on the surface, it's going to be actually lighter because it's, it's dissolved in heptane. And so when I dissolve this thing, here, I'll pour it on here. What you're going to see is, is that now this material is sitting now on top and what happens is what we call an interfacial polymerization. Again, big word. What it means is that I have, at the interface, I am forming nylon. So if I reach down through that interface and I pull out, I can actually pull out a strand of nylon, right, that is forming at that interface. So this is the long chain polymer that's being synthesized but from these two chemicals, right? And this is actually one of the methods that you can use to make a polymer. Now, obviously, commercially, you're not going to sit there and try to pull out strands of nylon, but it's a very nice way of showing you how polymerization can occur at an interface. All right. So you don't have to just do it at the interface. You can actually just stir it up. And if you do that, then it'll start to react completely. And you can see what's going to happen here. I'll pull out a whole glob now of nylon that's formed, okay? So if you're making a, a batch of this stuff in a factory, then you would obviously react it to make larger quantities of like this, and then you'll actually extrude it later on to make the strands, for example, in fishing line. So a byproduct of this reaction is actually hydrochloric acid. So that's because I used the chloride. Normally when they do this reaction, the byproduct will be water. And so it's a condensation polymerization because it condenses water out. But water reacts at higher temperatures. So because I wanted to react this at room temperature, I used the chloride because it reacts at lower temperatures.